in such a place that we can't make the case and we don't find additional evidence. Um, and because Robin manages all of those people related to um, what we can get from probationers and volunteer groups and stuff that are picking up litter, we're putting this all in one place in my office so that we can target some education. Um, we've already spoken to the local media about doing some work as far as litter goes. Um, and we're also tracking the cases through national court to see how many of those we actually have and, and what's involved in them. Does uh, signage work? Not so no. much. What, what we heard from people when code enforcement has issued citations, um, because we have talked, it, it's kind of funny, every now and then we do get someone pulled over because they have just, you know, in the middle of traffic thrown something out their window and they don't notice the code enforcement truck and so code enforcement gets the tag number and law enforcement pulls them over. And when we talk to those people, they say, well, yeah, I see the signs, but I really um, didn't think anybody would have catch me because, you know, I didn't see a cop around kind of thing. So, People, I think it's a reminder. Um, it definitely should be a part of our plan, um, but I think maybe publicizing that people really are fine and that you really do have to clean stuff up once you get to court is um, is something that, that we probably need to work on some more. It probably has uh, a little less impact than the uh, 55 mile an hour speed limit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and it's, you see people that see, they see the sign, they acknowledge the sign, and then but the correlation of them slowing down is not always associated with that. So you're saying that education is the best. Education and do education and hopefully through that education <coughs> process and public service announcements and opportunities you have, you will begin to try to make at least a cultural change in the way a lot of people think. Some people just don't even think about it. It's just an open window now it goes. Um, and they would do it, it wouldn't matter what it would Right. So you have to begin to create a cultural change and get folks to recognize what what it is actually doing to our community and what it's actually costing the community to be able to clean up that hamburger wrapper that they just chunked, chunked out the window. You know, they, uh, and, and so that's part of the process that we have to consider as we move forward with something in the, in the line of litter control is, is that Number one, is there something that the commission can do? Is there some plans out there that we can look at? Uh, I have had, I'll say this, I've had some discussions with uh, the folks at KLB, KBLB, um, with, their, uh, with their board to ask them what would their recommendations be about what they can do. But they have certain spring cleanups, their River Live program, community days and different things where they have their functions and what their capabilities would be to actually expand that which would be able to help some. Now, that doesn't help on litter control. All that does is that it takes a day out of the year that you pick it up. You still aren't really satisfied or taking care of the issue at hand. That's the fact that people are just throwing trash out. The chairman hit on an important point whenever he talked about the culture and climate change. You know, we all know what stop drop and roll means because we all sat through 75 prevention programs as we went through school. Um, this past year, 911 as part of their collegiate accreditation requirements needed to do some education with school children because school budgets have been hit so hard. They're not allowed to take field trips like they used to. Number one, they don't have the hours as far as the curriculum goes, and they don't have the fuel to put the buses to move the kids. So we're trying to go to them as much as possible. Fire prevention is something that schools traditionally always make room for. So this past year, we incorporated 911's message to that presentation. This next year, we're also going to put in um, a simple pet care message through Sparky, and he's going to be our advocate not only for fire prevention, but for animal welfare too. Um, and litter control would be a great place for us to make a work with Aaron to see what materials he may have. And I know that he goes to the schools as well, um, but it's just like you may notice whenever your children go through the, the anti-smoking information and that tobacco is a drug, whenever that all came out, we were all doing drugs because we smoked and did. Um, so, um, but, you know, I think that those are things that children remind, you know, you may have an adult that thinks twice before they just, without them to throw that cup out, if their child is going, you know, mom, don't litter, that's the, you're a litter now, you're a litter by that kind of thing, so um, we're definitely pushing that too. They do it at 
Silas my own, I'm going to be honest with you because that's one thing my daughter, that she points it out as I'm spreading it in school about all the litter, even the litter. Yes. <laughs> it's like she got all the things to throw in the hamburger, right? No, no. Because I take a ride with when I'm looking in the county and you can see in my area, it's just, it's just everywhere. You know? Yeah, it is a problem. And of course, we have a system, as y'all know, that it's, it's taught about a lot of different things. And we'll have to address some law of it to move through the control. But as y'all know, we have citizens that we heard at the last meeting that had concerns about trash flying out of the back of the, of the uh, trucks. Rich. That's something that'll have to be addressed. You know, uh, not just for that individual's road, but as a whole in, in what's, what's going on off of these trucks. You know, we're going to need to find out. Is, is trash coming out of the back of the truck? I don't think it's coming out of the garbage truck as bad as it's coming out of the back of the pickup truck. Well, I live in the county. You live in the county. You four city commissioners. We're county. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of there. That's something you have to talk about. That's something I have to talk about. Um, but we can 
Bible study, we flash those messages quite often, um, and we have a great response to people signing up for that, and then it goes to either email and or if they get text. A lot of it has to do with just keeping the message out there. Uh, Paige and I have the opportunities to be on, on uh, two talk radio shows twice a month, typically. Uh, I guarantee you they would be more than glad to, you know, to, to uh, allow us the time to mention litter control and those, those uh, plans and ideas and begin some discussion amongst themselves, you know, with the community to get some input there. So I think that this is, again, it's a first step. You know, the community has talked a great deal about gateways and litter and community beautification. And I'll be the first one to say, I'm not the individual that's going to be looking here that's going to come in and spend millions of dollars to change the way an interchange looks. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for just the fact of cleaning the clean. Clean in the house. Make what you got look as good as you can make. You don't have to rebuild it. Just make what you got just look as good as we can possibly make. And some of these issues that we talked about earlier about Funding going away from the state on on uh, Mowing State Road. We know if we have a wet summer, this grass around here, it'll get high. I mean, you could lose one of these small foreign cars if you have to pull off the side of the road. It'd take a week to find it. You know, just put the grass and stuff just gets that high. So we're going to have to figure out a way. Oh, uh, I'm sure it's not the diesel. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to have to figure out a way that we can address some of these issues. And uh, since we since we're going to have to look at some of those, we, I just, I feel real strong about the fact that we need to look at litter control, beautification, and making this community look as good as we can. Put the best dress on it, as Faith said. Well, we're going with the school system. Can't we do something with the school system? I think there's all kinds of opportunities out there. Kids care the message better than you do. Well, I, I will go back to one other. Phrase that I hear a whole lot of. <coughs> Chairman, we can do anything you want to do. It's just going to cost me. It's going to cost us. Who tells me that? Staff Secretary. I wanted to add that, you know, I, I thought about this a while back, but I, you know, um, I, I realized you know, we, we pretty much did what we going to do for sanitation. But, you know, but uh, if we were not going to consider a dollar or something that, that direction, maybe we, we might want to consider 50 cents on the water bill or, or, or a dollar on the water bill to help address those gateway issues, the, the litter control and all of that. I don't think people really uh, raise too much fuss about that. Well, I think as we move along again, if, if the first thing that we've got to do is recognize as a commission, does this community have a problem with trash? Yeah, I'm not talking about just the ones we've been having the last two years on the litter. Do we have a problem with litter in this community? Do we have a problem with beautification in this community? If we have that, and we recognize that, then we can at least justify moving into the next round is to identify those problems, see what funding is going to take to take care of them, and then look at the resources for that funding to see how we're going to be able to handle the needs. Again, giving the staff more work to but I think that that's the key is that uh, we're, we're going to have to come to a consensus of whether or not we recognize that there is a problem and that it needs to be addressed. Any, any other questions concerning this item? Paige, hey, can you give us some information on what the cost of her sign, being out of sign shop, putting the litter bug back? And Maybe promoting that on the website. I can promote yeah. the campaign for you to go to for you, and then you guys can choose to go with all of it or pieces of it. That way, we kind of get that shotgun approach because Commissioner Evans is right. We work on several things where we try to put something out, we call to everyone, and we were leaving, leaving out students in the population. So um, I'm sure that as well as our local newspaper, the radio stations are on board with um, some DSAs. And then what about the adopt the highway thing? Does that play into this at all? Um, there is an issue, and I've had those discussions with uh, Eric at KLBB, and, and the state basically is going away 
possibility that you might do something from a local standpoint with the state on the state highway that go away. Um, again, from the local county maintained roads, I think that uh, based on what he said, they already have a pretty good group of responsible individuals that's looking at those. And I have challenged you with the fact, are these people truly adopting the road or did they just like having their name out of the sign? You know, so we're going to we'll have to address that. How often does that community service crowd go and pick up the right? Uh, is there a schedule? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, they are out every week. We take all of them that we can get for that. Um, side note on that, sometimes you get people that are assigned community service that uh, are less than enthused about getting out there. And really the only thing they can do is if they refuse to cooperate, just put them on the bus, take them back. And